It all came about this one afternoon I was minding my own business in Morecambe Bay, in Lancashire. And I get a phone call. It was, it, was, it was an evening time, actually. I get a phone call around about six, seven o'clock in the evening saying, would you want to go fight in Saudi Arabia for the WWE against one of their heavyweight champions? I thought about it for about three seconds and I said, yes. <laughs> so he said, right, you've got to be on a plane at six o'clock in the morning to fly to LA for a big event. Can you do that? I said, yes. Gets on a plane, flies to LA the next morning, 6 a.m. And, and that's how it started, right? yeah. Smackdown. I mean, <laughs> like you said, that turnaround is, is mental. Is it something that you'd ever really thought about before that? Because you know, I've you're... thought about it before, but never had the right time to do it. Mm. Because I've always been boxing or whatever. And This phone call came 10 days after my court. Yeah. And I won't be boxing for a while with a court, so... It was a good time to keep myself busy for October because I know I've got December off and half of November. So, yeah, keep myself busy in October. Now, one thing I've seen you know, in your interviews and you've been at the Performance Centre, of course, working out as well, is Triple H seems to have been quite close to you. Um, has that been, you know, he's been Insane. a big helping hand. Yeah, I bet. Um, how much of a helping hand and, you know, anyone else really that's been very helpful yeah, to you? Yeah, you know, everyone at WWE from the top to the bottom have been more than kind and helpful. And um, and helpful, yeah. They've helped me out tons of stuff and been very welcoming and got me everything I needed. Can't complain at all. Very professional people yeah. outfit. And um, what is Triple H like to have so close to you? Is he giving you pointers in just terms of yeah, the WWE said, look, machine, or he is just it... said be yourself and enjoy it? And he said you were built for this. My smart man, smart man indeed. Let's talk about um, you know meshing boxing matters into it. I'm sure you've heard by this point, Dionna Wilder had a lot to say yesterday. Um, I've not heard, no. You know, <laughs> well, in terms of the the actual fight on going into WWE, he is claiming that you're going to uh, fake an injury of some sorts and that the February match might not go ahead as a result. Okay. Um, how do you respond to Wilder making such claims? How do you respond to that? <laughs> Agree? Maybe? Well, you'd, you'd would, like to... You, I mean, surely would that, that's be, still your focus. Would that be the most controversial way of answering that question, to agree with what he said? Probably, yeah. Well, I'll agree with what Deontay <laughs> Wilder said then. Everything he said, I agree with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he was saying as well that... Um, because, you know, there was a rumour of, of how much he was going to earn from Saudi Arabia. Now, obviously, I won't press you on that too much. People just assume with Saudi Arabia how much money is going to be involved, don't they? But he seemed to bring it back to how much you could draw in Las Vegas as well. Yeah. Um, Again, why is he talking about such things? I've no idea because none of he's concerned, but I'll agree with that too. <laughs> so, yeah, there's two agrees. <laughs> there you go. Tyson Fury, 15 million. You've heard it here first, apparently. Yeah. Um, so, in, look, one Do you thing, know what it is, though? Go on. I don't, I don't see why people should be concerned of what my private business is and what I'm earning for fights or whatever. It's got nothing to do with anybody but me. Mm. So if I earn 10 quid or I earn 10 million... It's got nothing to do with anybody else at all because it's not their concern. No, you're Especially right. Especially a rival boxer. What does it matter to him if I earn £10? <laughs> it's not easy money, is it? No. So he shouldn't be concerned. And as for all the fact that I'm going to get an injury, whatever, he needs to concentrate on his own fight with Lewis Ortiz and stop worrying about what I'm doing and stop being jealous of me. Mm. Because you don't hear him talking about his own fight, do you? He's too too concerned on what I'm doing <laughs> and how terrible I am and how I shouldn't be getting this money and how I'm getting a tenner for a fight or whatever then concentrate on his own life and career get on with his acting and whatever he's doing mm, yeah you're right crack on and in, in terms of I don't mention them I don't mention any of them unless people push me for for questions out of these I don't mention any of the Navy Way box I have no concern what they do in their life is none of none of my business at all and none of my concern one bit mm. I wouldn't say, oh, Deontay Wilder's doing an acting job. What an idiot. He's getting, he should be getting a million and he's getting 10 grand. <laughs> I've no interest in what he does. I don't care if he goes for Miss Universe or becomes a bodybuilder or an MMA fighter. I don't care if he gets a big movie shot with a rock. That's none of my business, quite frankly. Mm. But with your business and uh, moving to wrestling, another thing that I have heard you say is how tough it is, right? I mean, everyone likes to talk about how wrestling's fake. Um, yep. I have that battle with my own people at my own station all the time. Uh, scripted, sure, but it's far from 
fake in terms of it's grueling. Are they saying the fake, the actual fights are fake, or is it the impact that's fake? What, which part of it are they saying is fake? Well, I, th I think some grown men are, are, are stuck in that time where, because there was, you know, what they call kayfabe, and it was kind of kept, it was trying to be a secret back in the day. I think they all think that it is, right? Like, even the fighting. But as you will have learned at the Performance Centre, it's far from. Like, the bumps hurt, right? Oh, Definitely. It's definitely not fake. I've got an injured shoulder, an injured ankle, and my back's killing me. <laughs> and I ain't, tra I ain't trained for wrestling for, for a week. So, yeah, it's definitely not fake. You take more impact in training for wrestling or a wrestling fight than you ever would in a boxing ring. How was the first bump that you took, flat, flat back? It was different because I've never took a bump before. Unnatural, falling back on your back without protecting yourself. Mm. Your natural instinct is to put your hands down and, and not land on your back. Yeah. But with them, they just go bang, fall back. And if you're not careful, you can break your neck or give yourself some serious damage. You know, it's uh, there's a lot of guys in the WWE have, um, and they've they've had neck injuries, spinal injuries, everything. So yeah. Yeah. Dangerous. Steve Austin as well. Edge, loads of them. Loads of the greats have had to retire early. That's how yeah. bad it is. Uh, you know, the other thing in terms of the match that you're putting together with Braun Strowman, do you think um, people are in for a big surprise about what you can do? Because a lot of fans are like, oh, he's going to knock him out, because uh, obviously you've said that yourself too. Um, you think you're going to shock a lot of people in what you can do in the rope, inside the ropes? For sure. What, what ideas it's you got? going to be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, I'm personally looking forward to it, because I do think in terms of uh, people think it's just going to be like a one strike or something, but I reckon you've got more... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give him the stiff idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to give him the dosser drop. The dosser drop? <laughs> all right. First of all, I'm going to give him the dosser drop, and I'm going to finish him with the big stiff idiot. Well, one thing I do um, want to mention as well, you've, you've mentioned in the past about how you would call Anthony Joshua, or you would call you know, another boxer and say you're going to knock them out. Has anyone given you calls since um, you've made this move to WWE, um, given their thoughts or anything like that? No. Nope. And like, the only one that I saw was that Frank Warren was, was concerned. <laughs> Obviously, he wants you back with him, I would assume. But... Yes, yes. But... Frank Warren's got his concerns, <laughs> and so he should have. Mm. It's a very uh, hard thing, and I could be injured. But injuries do occur, and we'll, we'll deal with that if it happens. Is part of the luster of doing this is that you're following the footsteps of some great men like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather. You know, I've seen recently you was on Mike Tyson's podcast, very good episode by the way, and uh, you were seen with Floyd Mayweather not long ago. Did you talk to any of those guys about doing this potentially? Or no, when I was with Mike, it wasn't on the cards, and when I was with Floyd Mayweather, we wasn't talking about wrestling. Oh, but, but does, is that kind of uh, appealing to you though? That that greats like that you know you're going to be in the, in the same breath as that and, and in modern history there's only been Vince McMahon told me boxing he's only worked with Muhammad Ali Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather and now Gypsy King Tyson Fury so it's very good company yeah extremely the most famous boxers of our time and speaking of what you've been doing recently as well I see that you saw Usyk um, the other day at an event and you, people said you were sizing him up um, what would you make of that man and his transition to heavyweight? I think he's a phenomenal boxer he's done really well in his career cruiserweight champion and that and I um, hope he does really well in the heavyweight division as well there's always room for more competitors for sure Yeah. more opponents so in terms of WWE it's, and I know that you've been asked this but I have to ask it myself do you have your experience with them so far? They seem like they've treated you well and you're really enjoying it. Is it something that, of course, boxing is in your blood, but it is something you could revisit again in the future? For sure. What are your, what are your feelings about that? I could definitely revisit it in the future, that's for sure. Where or when to be revealed, but to be continued.